What's the weirdest thing you believed as a child? That my mother loved me. <laughs> no. I constantly think out loud whenever I'm by myself. Join the club, I do that too. And I'll, I'll actually do it when people are here too, so. Yep, it's not crazy, right? Yeah, it probably is a little bit. What's the most pointless argument you've ever had? <laughs> I remember one I had. It was about marinara sauce versus spaghetti sauce. And my wife was like, those are two completely different things. And I said, fuck you, no they're not. And then we had it proceeded to have a 15 minute argument about whether or not marinara sauce and spaghetti sauce are different. And then I went downstairs and I looked at the cans and I said, you win this one, but I'll be back. <laughs> so I was fucking wrong and I'm still mad about it. Stupid marinara sauce. I have these headphones on. I'm not listening to anything at all. What I'm thinking is that CBD gummy had more than CBD and just oil in it. Uh-oh. And I started answering questions. This is going to fall off the rails really fast. Oh, we're going to do a reaction. Reaction video. Probably going to go on Ask Reddit. We're going to answer all the really tough questions in this episode. To see what re what Redditors really want to know. It's always important to know what's inside a Redditor's mind. So we got to go deep undercover. Brrr. Let's see what, see what kind of questions people are asking tonight. What's your favorite holiday? Hmm. Let's think about that one. What's your favorite holiday? That's one of those questions that changes with time. Because when I was younger, I would say, oh, Christmas, of course. You'd hang out with all the cousins and, you know, you get gifts. And then as I got older, I was like, I don't know, probably 4th of July and Thanksgiving. 4th of July, you get the chance to blow stuff up and that's fun. Let's go with that. What's your number one not safe for work advice you give? I, I don't know. Talk fucking eat butt. I mean, not safe for work advice that I give. If it's not safe for work, who am I giving that advice to? If it's a friend, they already know the stupid things I say. What kind of advice would I be giving anybody just on the street? You just walk in some, by somebody in the street and they're holding what? Like a Starbucks coffee? And you're like, hey, by the way, always wash your balls on a first day just in case. Clean your asshole like you're selling it. And he said, there you go, sir. Kind sir. Go off into the world with that, huh? What kind of not safe for work advice would you give a stranger on the street? Which game do you play again every year? I don't even know what the fuck that means. What do you mean? Which game do... I play again every year. The game of life. <laughs> I don't fucking know. What do you mean? Like a board game? I used to play Euchre a lot. I don't know. Does that count? What TV show would you rate 10 out of 10 that has fewer than 50 episodes? Samurai Champloo. That's an anime though. I don't think there is a TV. Uh, Firefly. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Those are good. What are you currently hiding from your partner? Hopefully people are using pseudonyms and not their real names. It's not fucking secret. It's like posting on Facebook or Twitter. What are you currently hiding from your partner? Me? The fact that I have a big throbbing veiny vagina. I won't tell her. Nobody tell her. Let's hear what, what people said. I want to I wanna see this now. I successfully purchased an in-demand Magic the Gathering set that's sold out immediately. He's getting a full set for his birthday next week. Oh, so you bought it. Yeah, it was nice. What a, what a thoughtful gift for somebody who likes Magic the Gathering. I, I like those obscure board games now, you know? I don't know if you guys like that shit. I'm, I'm going off on a tangent now. But uh, those obscure board games that are kind of really hard to learn, they're really intricate. Like, I don't know, I kind of, I've been digging those lately. You know, they, speaking of that, did you realize that there are people that test board games? Like, I knew a guy that did that. He would, uh, he was in this group, this online forum for like board game creators. Yeah, and if he, I don't know, I can't remember if he had to pay. I think he had to pay to be a part of the group, like to test out a lot of these board games, but they would just send him like beta copies or alpha copies of the actual board game. And then he would play test it and stuff like that and send his, you know, give notes and send it back to the creator. It was fucking wild. I didn't even know that it existed. I had no fucking idea that it existed. <laughs> I don't know if that's something I want to keep in my head, but it's there now. It's living rent free. Wait a minute. I maintain a list about my partner that he doesn't know about. Oh my God. Like what? Like that's the re response to the person up above. I have a list of details about her. His partner, birthday, shoe size, clothing, favorite clothes, preferences, mom name. Yeah, because you don't want to forget that shit. I probably start doing that. I feel like now I don't care. He goes to the bathroom at 9 a.m., 4 p.m., and then again at, at 10. I really thought this would be a little juicier down here, but it's not. It's actually pretty wholesome for the most part. Well, people are pretty nice today. Let's just chalk it up to people being nice today. Uh, let's see. What brings you joy daily? Hmm. I mean, what do you have? Do you have anything that brings you joy daily? I'm trying to think. You gotta, you gotta kind of look for it because the world is all always full of really nasty, terrible shit that you might that get stuck in your head, and you just think about that all day. Whether it's in your life or in your local community or in the world, which really, why am I worrying about the world? I can barely take care of myself. That aside, <laughs> you need something to kind of take you away sometimes, right? 
to kind of give you that little smile. We have this gang of chipmunks that live in our yard, and there's holes all over the place, and a lot of guys that are really into their lawn would be really pissed off about it, but it is an absolute explosion of cuteness all over the all over the yard. And I'll just sit there on the couch and uh, watch the watch the chipmunks run around. I want a chipmunk friend. That's what I want. I want to be able to hold peanuts in my hand and have a chipmunk come and take one. That's gonna that's my goal from now until I die to to get a chipmunk friend somehow, some way. What's the weirdest habit you have? <gasps> Holy shit! I gotta we gotta read these, right? I gotta read people's responses to this. I'm trying to think of a habit. It's gotta be weird though. I mean, that's a pretty high bar. You see what people do out in the world right now on a daily basis? I mean, to be weird, you really got to stand out. Wouldn't that be a question for somebody who knows me? Because sometimes you don't even realize the habits you have, right? Isn't that kind of how it goes? I get too many cups. You know, I'll get some ice water or something and I'll drink it. And then I'll just, when I'm done, I'll set the cup down, I'll walk away. And an hour later, I'll get a new cup. <laughs> so, I, so I just have all these empty vessels for holding liquids around the area. And I've been called the cup fairy. So I guess I'm a cup fairy now. This is a good one. When I'm in public, I tend to imagine how I would fight each person in the room, just in case. <laughs> I mean, most guys, when we sit when we sit in a place, at least the ones I've talked to, they, they they'll do the whole you know sizing up thing, just to see and keep an eye keep an eye on the exits. How are you gonna get out of here? Who's gonna be a problem? Yeah, it's something I'm something a lot of guys do. Well, at least I know I do. It's like prepping, but without uh, a cement bungalow in the woods that you make your kids build with you. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I think that does it for tonight. But thanks for stopping in and until we meet again. Come on the adventure.